Well, we start with news from Power City. Chevron Phillips Chemical and Cutter Energy announced that they will build a $8.5 billion polymers plant in Orange. Now, Orange County commissioners have been fighting to land this expansion project for years now. Three other locations were in the running, but ultimately Chevron Phillips and Cutter Energy picked Orange for its new home. 12 News reporter Kara Willis is live from the site to show us the progress and what we can look forward to. Kara. Good morning, Leticia. I'm standing here at the site right now where the new plant will be built, and you can see behind me construction is still heavily underway. Now, if you've been driving by lately, you may have noticed that it looks a lot different than before. A huge boom to the orange economy. The new plant is expected to employ 500 full time workers, and when it comes to temporary jobs like construction work, plant reps tell us they expect to hire 4,000 people to help build the facility and a press release plant reps say they expect the facility to bring in $50 billion to the local economy. Orange County Judge John Gauthier says that with any new construction, the county will need to work on a plan to ease traffic concerns, but the project is something that will help attract more people to Orange. But you got to have people. Uh, you know, those places go where there's expansion and where there's growth and, and uh, you know, a facility of this size guarantees that there's going to be that many people come to our area. So those those people who want to build those kind of businesses are already coming. They're already looking. Uh, this is just going to make it happen even faster. Now, some people online have been commenting about what this new large facility will mean for traffic in the area. Judge John Gauthier says he knows there may be some growing pains, especially when it comes to parking, but the county is working to address these issues. He says county leaders would like to see more buses to limit the number of cars in the area, and they are working on plans for additional traffic lights to help prevent traffic from backing up. Now, as far as the completion date, Gauthier says that that's up to the construction company, but he expects the project will take 45 years to complete. In Orange, Kara Willis, 12 News.